I absolutely love making fires with children. I think it's such a therapeutic, natural thing for us to do, and the children just respond to it so responsibly most of the time. I've done it with most age groups. And despite what a lot of people think, that children won't behave well enough to have that sort of responsibility around fire, they really do. And as long as you make sure, obviously it's for success and, and the kids are given some boundaries at the start, um, they just love it. So we've chosen to use a fire pit rather than make our fires on the ground. It protects the ground. When you build fires on the ground, it really disturbs the soil and the earth, and that's something that we want to avoid doing as much as possible. And having it within that fire pit just prevents us from making a huge fire. That's something that I always, always have discouraged anyway. A fire is a special thing, and it should be treated with respect. And it's a little bit of an art form, I think, creating a nice fire. Having the fire pit just makes it that little bit easier for us. One other thing that I'm, I always really make sure we do is that I manage the fire to make sure everything within it burns down, so not putting too much wood in to start with, just making sure there's just enough that we have enough fire or heat that we need, but not too much that it burns for too long. And then we don't pour water on the fire until it has all burned down, so all that we have left is ash, and then a few little bits of charcoal which we can either dispose of once it's cool in the bin or we like to keep the big bits of charcoal for the children to use um, to draw with as well. So nothing's wasted and nothing's left behind.